All right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. It is deadlift and lower body posterior chain day. Normally I'd be doing some upper back today as well, but dealing with some forearm injuries, my elbows are getting sore. Um, so gonna give the old uh, forearms a rest, let the elbows and forearms heal up. So started off the workout with deadlift uh, doubles with 407 pounds. Actually the heaviest doubles I've ever done from the floor with deadlifts. Um, so, like I say, doing doubles. Um, first rep, I did both uh, dead stop from the floor. After that, I did first rep, dead stop, second one, just kind of touch and go. Um, goal was to get six sets if possible. Um, I managed to get five sets. Um, thought about going for a six set, but uh, just too fatigued. I didn't want to end up hurting myself. Um, Got to be smart want to keep grinding until I get uh, I'm going to get my deadlift up to about 470 pounds I think if I want to hit uh, 1100 pound total so can't afford to have any injuries I'm already dealing like I said with a couple forearm injuries so I got to let those heal up I'm um, right now using straps but uh, when I go for my total I'm going to do mixed grips so Got to let, gotta let the, the, the forearms heal. But uh, here's set five. So you can see set five was substantially slower than the first four sets. Um, kind of progressively slower as we went, as I fatigued. But set five was a grind, and I just didn't want to risk anything for set six. Um, overall, though, really happy with the deadlift for today. Like I say, 407 is the heaviest doubles I've done. So can't can't be upset about that. Um, even if I didn't get my six sets. Um, then moving up, so last week did 265 pounds on RDLs, three sets of eight. So it's going to show you my third set here. Uh, 275 pounds this week, so up 11 pounds. We're just going to keep going up on the uh, RDLs every week, uh, like we're doing with the deadlifts, and uh, see where we end up. I love RDLs. They feel way more natural to me than a conventional deadlift. Um, even my conventional deadlift, I, I, it's almost a stiff leg deadlift. I do very little um, bending of my legs. I just, I don't know why. Just deadlift has never felt supernatural to me. But uh, I just work with the form I have. Uh, works for me. I feel it mostly in my glutes. So I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not compromising my lower back. So just keep hammering away and building up. Um, so I don't do uh, hip thrusts very often, but I'm going to start throwing them into the routine on a regular basis. Got to get that uh, hip drive going. Um, it's going to help with the deadlifts for sure. Um, driving the hips through right to lockout. So this is 306 pounds. Um, we're just going to keep building that up as well every week. And I think that's going to help the deadlift take off. And then something I've kind of gotten away from the last few weeks is doing my reverse squats. Um, they have really helped my hip flexors when I was doing them. So I'm going to get back to doing these on a regular basis. Um, I'm hoping this weekend uh, my ankle's still been bugging me from when I played football a couple weeks ago. Um, but hoping that I can get back to doing my uh, calf raises and my uh, tib raises this week as well. Those three exercises have been really helpful for my squat. Uh, should also help out the deadlift. That's it for the workout. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.